During this module of instruction, we will demonstrate how to install the standard box camera with lens inside an outdoor housing. We have two types of outdoor housing. This particular one has a heater and a blower installed. This is the controls for these two pieces. We have another one that does not have these inside. To continue with this installation, you will need several more pieces of equipment. You'll need some wire nuts. You'll need about four pieces of wire, four to six inches long, stripped at each end, a Phillips headed jeweler type screwdriver, and this is the plug that goes on the bottom of the case that allows the waterproofing of your uh, Siamese cable that brings the power and the video to the camera. The rail that attaches the camera to the inside of the housing is included with the housing. We've mounted it already with its attached screw for demonstration purposes. Now, to start off with, take one of the colored wires that you've got stripped to the back of the camera. This green block is your power block. Hold the little buttons down on top slide the wire inside, release, tug, it should not come out, it's now caught. Take another wire, different color, hold the button down, repeat the previous instruction, get it in, release, it should now be both snug. That's your power. This is a connection for the auto iris portion of the lens, this is your video out from the camera. Next, go into the camera, it's the camera housing itself. Inside here, this is your power block right here. This is where you will attach some additional wiring to bring power to the heater and the blower. Take one of the attached wires, stick it inside, take your jeweler screwdriver, and screw it down snugly, not too tight, but snugly where it's not loose. We'll proceed with the second wire. Repeat the instructions again. Goes inside. Take your screwdriver. Screw it down. Should be nice and snug. You now have your wires to your power block. You have the wires to the camera. Also, make sure that this is installed in the, in the bottom of your camera box. And this is where you take your camera line and it also comes in through the bottom. This has your power. You'll uh, clean these wires off also. And your video feed is where you put your BNC connector on. Alright, next step is you will take the camera itself and it snaps inside. Make sure that there's, it doesn't hit any wiring when you, when you attach it. Alright, you'll proceed by taking the same colored wires. You can start with either black or red, doesn't matter. Take those three wires, move them together. Take a wire nut and cover all the exposed wiring on that bundle. You'll proceed to get the next set of wires. Should be black in this case. Wire them together. Make sure none of them have come loose. This is always what you need to make sure that none of the wires come loose. Nice and tight. They're all nice and snug. Last, attach the video cable to the camera. You've now attached the power to the heater and blower and the video cable comes up through the bottom that you tighten down to keep the moisture out. Lock the, lock the box down. You're finished. Here's here is the other standard housing box that has no heater or blower inside. It's just the camera housing. The wiring comes again up through the box 
attaches directly to the back of the camera and the back of the cam and for the video feed here. And there you have the installation of both a non-heater blower and heater blower outdoor enclosure camera inside.